Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Today I have a comparison video. I have never made a stencil with a Cricut and made a sign with it. And I wanna make one and put it side by side with my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer um, method on a sign and see which one I like best. And I'm gonna show you guys and you guys can decide which one you like best too. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the pieces of wood that I'm gonna use for the signs I'm gonna compare a uh, Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer sign to a Cricut stencil sign. Gonna do them both up, see how they look, and then see which one I like the best. I just made these on scrap pieces of tongue and groove pine. Painted them with some homemade stain, um, just acrylic stain, and then my homemade white chalk paint, and that's what I'm gonna use as the base of my signs. Made them nice and rustic and chippy looking, and let's get started. I have the stencils all done. And I'm just going to make sure they're gonna fit on here and then I did it properly. It actually wasn't too, too bad. This is the first time that I've made a stencil on Cricut and it was pretty easy to follow through. So now I'm just gonna take the backing off and then stick it where I need it and, and then pull off the transfer tape I have the stencil all on. Um, I probably should have measured it a little bit better to make sure that I have it square right in, but I kind of rushed it through and kind of didn't take the time to do that. Next time I will. I think I got it pretty good though. And then I really pushed the stencil down really well to make sure that it's really got good contact with the wood. When I'm ever doing stencils, I always like to use the Mod Podge to go around and seal it before I put the paint on. Um, it just creates a barrier so your paint won't bleed as much or, or hopefully not at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Got that all coated with the Mod Podge. Um, you put it on very sparingly and just all along the edges, make sure you're pushing it up into the vinyl so it gives it a nice, really good seal. Gonna set it aside, let it dry, and then we'll start painting. This is completely dry. I'm gonna use my stencil brush and some black chalk paint and I'm just gonna paint my stencil. I put two coats on and now I'm ready to peel away the stencil and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Don't disappoint me. I want to have a perfect stencil. So far, so good. I got it all peeled off and I am really impressed. I had one little bleed through right there. That actually might have been user error. I can fix that up though. I can just touch it up with a little bit of white paint. Other than that, I think it looks really good. I'm excited to put the two side by side. Now, the one thing that you can do with a stenciled sign that you can't do with the Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer sign is I can sand this. So I can take the sandpaper over the top of this and distress it. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna distress it up a little bit. All sanded, I'm gonna put a coat of my polyacrylic sealer on it in the matte finish water based and seal it up really well okay i finished this one and now i'm going to get started on the mod podge sign i've printed off my graphics on my laser jet printer made sure to reverse them because i'm going to do the mod podge reverse graphic transfer i sized them up um, i have a full tutorial on how to size your graphics i'll put a link down below in the description so if you're not sure how to do that you can follow that through and i'm just going to cut them out Put them on my wood with my Mod Podge mat, let them sit for 24 hours, 
and then rub it off and then we're going to compare the two signs. This is all dry. Next day, I'm gonna take a damp cloth and just rub it up until you can just start to see the graphics come through and then rub all that paper off and this sign will be finished. I got all the paper rubbed off and now I'm going to put a coat of polyacrylic sealer, uh, water-based satin. Okay, I have them both finished. This one here is the Mod Podge Reverse Graphic Transfer. All finished. And this one is the Cricut Stencil. And I don't know, you know what? I kind of like both. They both kind of have a different look to it. This one, when I sanded it, it kind of, um, and then I put the polyacrylic on it, it kind of darkened the wood around it a little bit. I like that though, it's really rustic. Both of these are really rustic looking. Um, and this one, when you're doing your Mod Podge, sometimes it can kind of rub off a little bit. I love that look, makes it look nice and rustic. But then this one kind of, when I sanded it, it kind of made it have kind of a, a rustic look too. So I don't know. I kind of like both of them and I'm kind of torn. I found the Mod Podge sign is easier for me. But I have done the, so many of these signs. It's easier for me to, to, to do. I found this one was a little bit more time consuming. You've got to print your graphic off on the vinyl and then you have to weed your vinyl and then you got to put a transfer tape and then you have to paint the Mod Podge and then paint and then paint. Where this one, I just printed it off on my computer, put the Mod Podge on, stuck it down, left it overnight, and then rubbed it off. So, um, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and which one's your favorite. Okay, so there we have our comparison. We have our Cricut with a stencil and our Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer. Um, if you have a Cricut, give this a try on your signs and see which one is easier for you and which one you like the best and let me know how you make out. And this graphic is also available in my Etsy store. If you want to head over and grab it, you can use this um, to make your signs. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 because you'll get 50% off all of the graphics in my store um, and they're, it's loaded right full of great graphics for um, crafting. So if you like this video, you'll probably really love this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.